What's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Kia Sportage can take you to some really cool places, whether it be through bike riding, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer through most of North America. So let's go ahead and break down that really easy install for you. You'll need the tool seen here to complete your installation. All right guys, we're gonna start by prepping the underbody of our vehicle for our hitch. We're gonna start on the driver's side by removing this underbody panel. We're gonna start by removing these two push pins using a flathead screwdriver. And there's a third push pin on the back of the panel, right here in the wheel well. All right, now we're gonna remove our underbody panel. We're just gonna pull down. There's two more fasteners right here, but you just pull down on the whole panel and they'll come off. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. And if your white clip doesn't come out of your underbody panel, it's an easy fix. You'll just remove it from the vehicle by unscrewing it and then you'll just pop it back into place. All right, now we're gonna to need to lower our exhaust. We're gonna remove two rubber hangers towards the rear of the vehicle, and then there's a third rubber hanger towards the rear axle of the vehicle. And before we remove those rubber hangers, we're gonna go ahead and support our exhaust using a support strap. We're just gonna loop it through the cross member right here. To remove our hangers, we're gonna spray it with some soapy water. And we'll use our exhaust removal pliers to remove the rubber hanger. And we'll repeat on the other rubber hangers. All right guys, our underbody is now prepped for our hitch. On the driver's side frame rail, we'll be using these four holes as our attachment holes. And it is the same on the passenger side. All right guys, now we're gonna bring our hitch into position. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as the hitch is a little heavy. All right, starting on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and install our included bolts and conical washer. And we're just wanna make sure that the teeth on the washer is facing the hitch. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tighten and torque all of our bolts according to the manufacturer's specification. We're gonna be using a 17 millimeter socket, and for the ones underneath, it helps to have a five inch extension. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, now we're gonna bring our exhaust back up. We're gonna reinstall the rubber hangers that we previously removed, and we'll use some soapy water to ease that. And now we'll reinstall the final rubber hanger. And now we'll remove our support strap. All right, now we're gonna reinstall the underbody panels on both sides of the vehicle. All right guys, now that we have the hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled it down onto level ground to show you some measurements for your hitch accessories. So this is a two inch receiver, and from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five inches, and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 13 inches. 
All right, guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.